Hey, welcome back to the Tuesday show. We're still talking about Ultra Street Fighter 4 and all the changes that people were told and then also were found uh, found out uh, about the game at the recent Loke test. So let's move on to E-Honda. Official changes. Close Standing Fierce hitbox expanded upward. Okay. Far Standing Fierce tip damage increased from 80 to 90. Far Standing Roundhouse changed from minus 7 to minus 6. That's pretty big, actually. Uh, diagonal Jump Strong hurtbox reduced. Diagonal jump medium kick active frames extended by one. EX headbutt pushback on block reduced. EX uh, command grab now completely invincible from frames one to five uh, to hits, presumably. Uh, super startup reduced from 11 to eight frames. And then ultra two reduced from two frame to one frame startup. Throw range increased from 1.16 to 1.4. And command changed to 720 uh, from, I think, Half circles or something like that. So one before. frame is basically the same as 720 for Zangi. From yeah, it's instant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Instant okay. move, exactly. Um, these sound like good changes, good changes. overall. Yeah. You know, yeah, overall yeah. they're not, they're not all. Uh, I think, and I guess we'll talk about that. But yeah, man, nah, that's that's big. I'm looking up what Geef's pile driver ranges are. Let's see, just to get a little comparison here. Uh, it doesn't list it there for some reason. Oh no, it's here. So that's that's like Geef's oh, that's like okay, Geef's okay, medium okay. punch, SPD. Okay, it's a little bit more than his than his EX SPD. So that's that's good. That's, that's good range. That's really good. That's really good. Now, I mean, did they reduce its damage at all or anything? Doesn't like say that. that. Oh, wow. Doesn't say that. So okay, it's a little bit more damaging. Jump strong is a little bit better, so he can get in a little bit more easily. Uh, EX um, command grab was always a useless move. There was no reason to do it over mm -hmm. the fierce one, mm -hmm. uh, or over, I guess over whatever one you want to use. So, but but now now there is and so now he has this extra get off me option that he didn't have before ex command grab so it's even more dangerous I guess to stand next to to Honda the the only thing is that the ex headbutt range pushback on block reduced mm -hmm. did you see any videos of that no I so I did it looks like it's close enough for a bunch of characters to do things about. Like, okay. maybe Vega can get a down strong. Maybe Hakan can get a slide. Like okay. Things like okay. that. So, which makes safe jumping against Honda a lot more effective, right? right? You can do a lot more stuff to it. Um, I mean, I think that's fair. I mean, the fact yeah. that they changed jump medium punch so it's harder to hit, mm -hmm. I think, is, is, is a big deal. Because that was actually one of probably the best jumping attacks in the game. It was only yeah. ones I can hit really low. It's really good. Now it's going to be harder to hit. So I actually think that's kind of a big deal, oh. to be honest with you. Nobody asked about Honda. <laughs> I guess not. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, yeah. I don't know. I, I think Honda will be pretty... Better. Pretty good now. Yeah, yeah. Better, uh -huh. yeah. Fuerte, El Fuerte. Okay, this is a this is a weird set of changes, but but ultimately I think pretty cool. Close standing jab hitbox expanded downward. Uh, it's this little choppy chop, if you yeah, can yeah, imagine yeah. it, um, which is nice. You can control things up close a little bit better. Far standing short startup reduced from five frames to three frames, and can no longer be uh, FADC or super. Um, okay, so that's you know that stupid combo he has, which is tortilla in the corner stand short super. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that's gone. You can't do the stand short into super anymore. Close standing medium kick startup reduced from 14 frames to 11 frames. Recovery reduced from 14 frames to 13 frames. Far standing medium kick recovery re for reduced from 15 to 14 frames. Close stand roundhouse startup reduced from 12 to 10 frames. Medium kick guacamole invincibility increased from 1 to 5 to 1 to 10 frames. Roundhouse Guacamole Invincibility increased from the first 7 frames to the first 16 frames. Dang, that's crazy. Uh, levels uh, 1, 2, and 3 and EX Quesadilla Bomb startup reduced from 17 frames to 14. Recovery reduced from 18 frames to 14 frames. Uh, EX Quesadilla Bomb Throw Invincible from frames 1 to 7. Fajita Buster Damage increased from 150 to 180. <laughs> Tostada press active frames increased from 7 frames to 8 frames, and the Gordita Sobat, the run medium kick, recovery reduced from 18 frames to 17 frames. So a lot of buffs. A lot of small things, but there. Yeah. But so, and some big ones, too. H Guacamole leg throw is 16 frames invincible? Yeah, I mean, it's not... It's not... I still not that great of a wake-up, because... If you think about it, he just lands on the other side of where yeah, his yeah, opponent I mean, you can't is. Yeah, so hit people off the ground with it. Yeah. Like but. I, what's weird is that I kept hearing people say that he could do run stop fierce into into guacamole. 
huh? And like, I was like, what does that mean? Like, does that mean that guacamole hits the ground now? But it's not in this change log, so I don't know. Maybe <laughs> I just read it wrong or something. But there's there's that. So a lot of lot of little normal things. So he has presumably. A little bit better uh, counter hit game. The Cody to Sobat being safer is really nice. Yeah, that's that's moves has a pretty good hitbox actually. More damage on Fajita, which is nice. Uh, the Quesadilla bomb. I know this is something that Dog Tanian likes. The, the Quesadilla bomb, you know, where you hold the button hey, and he charges yeah, yeah. forward. Uh, that's something that that Dog Tanian likes because I think the way he plays the character is a little bit differently than mm-hmm, I, I just mm-hmm. I joke around with him with that character a lot. Uh, and I tend not to use that because you gotta hold down a button. Right. And, like, you can't throw tech on or whatever else, which sucks. But they're making it better, so it's faster in the mid-range. Yeah. It's still not safe, is the thing. It's still punishable by a lot of stuff, but at least there's that. The, the, it's the other... comboable now, right? So that's that's the thing. It's like the low forward and the quesadilla will combo. Yeah, low forward and the quesadilla combos, exactly, mm-hmm. which, is, which is nice for him. And you can do run, stop, fierce, ending up in quesadilla bomb, which is cool, too. Uh, he also has better corner control because the roundhouse guacamole leg throw is so invincible now yeah. that jumping out of the corner is a lot harder against him. So Yeah, I like the EX quesadilla being throw invincible. I actually suggested trying to make all the quesadilla bombs throw invincible mm-hmm. because that way he has the anti-throw wake-up exactly. option, right? Which is really inconvenient because you have to make sure you're holding a button when you get knocked down right. and then time it as a reversal properly. That's why I thought it, w- it was okay to make all versions of it. Um, I mean, yeah, for sure. A um, little bit more damage, a little bit better yeah. frame traps, a little bit better corner control, a little bit better wake up, eh, yeah, a lot of small it's, stuff. It's but always it dangerous up. to have a person who uses the character balance them. Yeah. You know, um, I've always said that the way I want Cammy to play in this game is nothing like the way Cammy plays in this game. So if I balanced her, like, I would basically destroy everybody's happiness except Dang. my own, right? Yeah. So, because I just don't like the Vortex stuff. I'd rather uh, yeah. have her be in your face, kind of like, like, I would try to improve a lot of her rushdown and lower all of her damage, you uh-huh. know what I mean? And just make it so she's like, picks at you to death. Well. So it's always kind of dangerous in that way. So nobody uses Quesadilla Bomb, but I mean, let's see if people start. You know. I guess I guess you probably should. Yeah. Uh, Evil Ryu vitality increased from nine hundred to nine fifty. Crouching medium kick block stun extended by one frame. That's already a true block stun. Crouching yeah, medium kick to fireball. So that's even even better, I guess. Crouching roundhouse startup reduced from seven frames to six frames, which is pretty fast. Uh, toward medium kick hitbox expanded downwards, so some characters can't duck under yeah, it. Evil Ryu's low roundhouse now is going to be same speed as Akuma and uh, Balrog, I think. So I think that th- I think there's our six frames. Okie doke. Uh, yeah. Target combo can now be done from far standing medium punch. That's weird. Yeah, it is. <laughs> uh, short uh, hurricane kick movement distance increased. Roundhouse. Axe, axe kick, kick I guess. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, Startup uh, reduced from 26 uh, to 25 frames. Come on, Russo Kyaku? I mean, come on. That's obvious what that is, right? It's the only word that I don't know, I guess. So <laughs> I, that's why I guessed axe kick. Kyaku, because but... it's kick. No, kyaku. just because I, 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 oh, I know what all the okay, other moves okay, he has okay. are called. Yeah, 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 so. yeah. No, anyway. Kyaku means kick. So every time you see Kyaku, yeah. then, then it's kind of... Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> transliteration thing. Yeah. Um, so he has more life. That was a big problem for him. Those 50 mm-hmm. HPs, now that he has the 950, that'll be you know, a little stronger for him. He can k- take some more risks, and he is that kind of character, so that's nice. Uh, he has better, I guess, mid-range, crouch medium kick by itself, presumably, a little bit better. Uh, target combo from farther is cool. I don't know, short hurricane, nice. Um, roundhouse axe kick is one frame shorter on startup, and it's 25 frames still. I, yeah. I mean, here's the, here's the whole thing, right? I mean, we all... So I can kind of go into a more overall kind of diatribe here about this game. We all know what happened with Fei Long from Vanilla to to AE Uh 2012, right? At first, no one thought he was any good because nobody played him, nobody experimented with him, so they buffed him, but it turns out he was a really good... Right. And, I mean, it's kind of good that we have guys like WoW and... Oh, no, WoW is the only player, Mm -hmm. but But we have... But Sako's making Sako, right. Sako's doing good with Evil Ryu maybe just in time that people are not over buffing yeah. him but i mean characters like evil ryu and kim has already said right now in the arcade like it was like juries and yangs and kens like going crazy because these are all characters who are probably better than most people consider them to be 
Evil Ryu, I kind of is considered, and Oni. He's another character I feel like in that category. Yep. So Agreed. I think it's got it's going to be really dangerous the way that they're buffing some of these characters. So. Uh, even a couple more buffs too that Kim reports on. His teleport is not far, just like Akuma's. If, if you can picture his teleport right now, it's not. It's very good. It's it's slow and doesn't <laughs> go very far. Right. Uh, Do, yeah. So, having, there you go. I mean, like his teleport was bad. That was kind of one of the reasons why it was bad for him to have nine hundred health. Yeah. Now that you give him a good teleport yeah. and you increased his health, yeah. see, this, I mean, this is what I mean, right? Yeah. No, totally. You take, like, eight of the things that he has shortcomings and you fix four of them. You leave the others alone, but I feel like they improved everything. So, I don't know, Evil Ryu scares me right now, so... Fair enough, yeah. Yeah. So, Faye, the jab Rekka has slightly reduced range. Crouching short is now four frame startup instead of three. Crouching strong damage is increased, and the command grab has reduced recovery, but also changed changed startup too. That's yeah, just yeah, not yeah, mentioned yeah, there. yeah, yeah. I think it was supposed to be startup. That might actually be a, a mistake on there. Gotcha. But, uh, Crouching. So okay. Kim says, even in caps, phase light punch Rekka isn't that short. People are exaggerating how short it is. It's not even noticeable unless you main Faye. <laughs> okay, so I guess it's not uh, that big of a uh, deal. Um, he's Kim. Kim says uh, he seems fine. Fei Long players are still winning. Yeah, um, but that that's actually a very surprisingly small amount of nerfs. And he got yeah, a buff on good. crouching medium punch. I think that's great. Which is really interesting though, because crouching medium punch getting more damage. I'm, if he got crowner hit on crouching medium punch, was Jab Rekka the only one he can combo into? Ex too. He could do ex right, so he gets a little more damage on that. Which and is and Kim says that crouching hit that counter hit low strong into Rekka still works. Yeah. So even though the light the punch uh, Rekka was yeah. was nerfed on range, yeah. So, so sounds like not that big of a deal. I mean, the interesting one, the main, he lost. So his command throw was a buff nerf. It was a kind of right. a one or the other. They sped it up to start, so it can grab faster now, which is good, but yeah. now low jab into command grab doesn't work anymore right. when they block, which was just ridiculous because nobody ever escaped that. So no. <laughs> nobody ever escaped that unless they accidentally got hit by low jab. Right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, but, um, dude, I'm surprised Phelan got as few nerfs as he did. I think that's great, personally. Yeah. I'm happy to uh -huh, see that. Yeah, but, again... That I don't understand why Adon just kind of went blah. I, and I hear Akuma you. And Akuma and Phelan were like, woohoo, you know, yeah. so. Yeah. yeah. All right, Gen, stun increased from 900 to 950 uh, in punch style, which is Mantis, right? Mm -hmm. I always have to confirm that. Close standing fierce New, stun. Actually, no, is that, is that the opposite? Well, no. Mantis is punch, yes. Mantis is punch. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, because uh, it says Gekiro, and that's, that's punch stance, so. Close to any fierce stun distribution change from 100, 100 to 150, 150. Uh, Roundhouse Gekiro causes soft knockdown instead of hard knockdown, the waterfall. That's interesting. Yeah, EX waterfall now causes hard knockdown, so it's the EX one that you use rather than mm -hmm. round. Actually, yeah. that's cool. You have to spend meter to get the, the knockdown. Yeah, I guess that's, that's true. cute. Although, hard knockdowns in general are worse because of the delayed get up, but we'll talk about yeah. that. Uh, anyway, uh, EX waterfall on block follow up cannot be done, so that little mix up is gone. Which, Which is, one? You know, af after you blocked EX Waterfall Kick, the Gen player could do another oh, yeah, another yeah, follow up and go like yeah. whoop, 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 uh -huh, and yeah, just yeah, like bait yeah, you. Yeah. Now that's gone. You can't do that anymore. <laughs> okay, interesting. Jab, medium, and EX hands. Yeah. Yes. Uh -huh. Push block, uh, push back on hit and block reduced a little bit. All versions of hands hitbox is expanded slightly downward. Huh. Recovery increased by one frame though. Interesting. It's already punishable in some situations. So yeah, that's, and now it's even more punishable. So it like has less pushback. Well, it's it's so mm. interesting. It's more punishable because not only is it a frame more recovery, but the pushback is also not as big as before. So okay, a little bit buff slash nerf right there. Uh, mm. Ultra 2 hitbox slightly expanded forward and stun increased to 600. Wow. That one. Oh, the that's anti -air that. Ultra. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The anti-air ultra. The anti-air ultra. Uh, doing a lot more stun. So stun increased to six hundred. So I guess now there's a reason to do it, because there was almost never a reason to do it. Because like almost in every situation where it could work, you would do ultra one. There was like no reason to do ultra two. So kick style. Oh wait, no 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 no. That's that's not the anti air. That's ultra two. That's the 
the, oh, the, the finger of death. Dude, freaking... Yeah, the finger that's of right. death one. Yeah, yeah, you're, yeah, you're totally right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're totally right. Actually, that's that's cool then. So there's an actual reason to use Ultra Yeah, so two. now if you, you get him stunned, and then you got to try to hit him to get the damage. So, that's cool. That's yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Crane style, kick style. Crouching jab changed from plus three to plus five on hit. Crouching roundhouse recovery reduced from 29 to 24. That's pretty mm-hmm. cool because that's a good anti-air, so... Diagonal jump, fierce hurt box expanded downward. Diagonal jump, roundhouse hurt box expanded downward. Light punch, roll. I think that's roll. roll. Yeah. yeah, changed from plus three to zero on block. Really? All versions that's of roll, weird. last hit damage increased by 10. Uh, that's the wall dive, dive hit box slightly reduced. So maybe some shenanigans gone? I don't know, maybe yeah. less. It's pretty hard to hit it out of the air. A lot of characters can't uh-huh, do that. Maybe uh-huh. you can now, I don't know. And then Ultra 2, startup reduced from 10 frames to 9 frames. So Kick Stance Ultra 2, is that, that's the air one, right? That's the air one, yeah. yes. Okay. So that's very slightly better. That move still sucks, though, because the hitbox is horrible. Uh, someone, someone actually says that, that that's a typo, that the roll used to be minus 3 on block. And now oh. it's 0. So okay. they made it better, not okay. worse. That's okay. cool. Okay, okay. That's cool. Because I was like, <laughs> this was a problem? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um... I don't know. Maybe they don't want Shen to win anymore. Well, okay, it's not. It's not all <laughs> nerfs. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kick style sure. is pretty much buffed, and punch style a little bit nerfed. I mean, the close standing fierce, you get the the stun earlier, which is cool. Um, it's it's not necessarily bad that the push block the, that the pushback on hit of hands is uh is reduced because on hit you you know the opponent may be still in range for you to do stuff afterward right, or right. play footsies at your range that you want but it is it is nerfed too on block which is i mean i think that's a cool little i i'm glad I that's nice i'm glad they're trying to make the crane style better because yeah it's it's not very useful right like you went everybody would go into crane style to do a move and then just switch right back yeah and that was it so i i would like to see more use about it so. and, and i'm i mean <laughs> As far as Gen's mid-range game goes in punch stance, uh-huh. honestly, it could do to be a little worse. Right, right, right. Like, right, that's, right, not, right. that's not that big of a deal. Okay, okay. Um, uh, Gokin. I'm going to be right back. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, sure. James has to take care of some fighting cats right now. That's what's happening, in case you were wondering. Uh, Gokin, far standing short is now special, uh, etc. Cancelable. It's a cancelable move. Crouching strong is now plus three on hit rather than plus one. Uh, Kongoshin, is that the uh, counter? Which one? Kongoshin. Uh, I think that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, it's, so it's, it's no awesome. longer activated from that BS back forward back punch thing. Which is weird because Fei Long's flame kick still, still can works, be done, yeah. done that way. So yeah. Somebody asked about that specifically. Uh-huh. Uh, jab, dash punch thingy, forward movement is slightly increased, and then EX Hurricane hitbox expanded downward and forward. Uh, let's and then people asked actually quite a bit about him. Yeah, I mean the big one is now crouching medium punch into fireball is a combo now. Right, crouching strong fireball is a combo. Definitely, that, that's huge to me because he's never had that. And, right. And every time I played Goku, I was always like, why doesn't this work? I hear you. But now it does, and I, I don't know. I think that's really big. Well, check out. Him. I mean, he has he has some, some other big ones. If Goku's a uh, check, if Goku's EX Tatsu can be low profiled by Ryu's crouching medium kick, no. Tatsu wins, even against Ryu crouching medium kick. So that thing hits the ground at yeah, this point, and which it doesn't now. Which is really nice for him because, well, I mean, if he's willing to spend three meters, yeah. because he can get a combo into EX Tatsu FADC and Ultra 1 now, which was unreliable before because you had to make sure they were standing. Yeah, his wake up game's so a little bit better. It's, it's, I don't know, I think it's going to be really good. Cancelable stand short is awesome. Oh yeah, yeah. He's I think that's really stand useful. Stand short into fireball. Stand short fireball. I'm wondering if max range stand short into jab palm combos. I heard it did not. It did not. It just it's just too far, right? Yeah, I guess. Okay. I don't know. Because jab palm comes out super fast. Yeah, jab palm combos from crouching short. Right. If you're up so, close, so I think it's just I think that stand short probably just pushes them out of range. But that's. I but mean, that's a that 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 move has a good hitbox. It's mm-hmm. it's fast. It's got a good range to it. Um, it's a good move. So for it to be cancelable, basically like Oni. It's basically like Oni stand short. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, which is nice. So a bunch of little buffs for Goken. I think those are really nice. Better wake up, better uh, mid range, uh, some you know effectively better combos. Velociraptor's gonna be very happy, man. Yeah, he should be. I think those are. <laughs> I think those are significant. Guile, hurt box on wake up reduced. 
uh, which I maybe that means that he can't be crossed up quite as easily. Maybe technically it fixes that weird extra unblockable yeah. glitch that the he extra had. frame. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little glitch frame. Crouching jab changed from plus four to plus five on hit. Crouching roundhouse hitbox and hurtbox both expanded forward. Uh, upside down kick hitbox expanded downward. Nice. That is really nice. Yeah. yeah. Air throw range slightly increased. All versions of, of flash kick invincibility time extended by one frame. Ultra one startup reduced from seven frames to five. Invincibility time increased from f decrease. Oh yeah, from from uh, one to ten from the first ten frames yeah, to so the first fifteen. 15. Damage reduced from five ten to five forty. And during activation, if the opponent is behind, it auto-corrects to face the opponent. Uh -huh. Ultra 2, damage increased from 300 to 350. That is a lot of stuff for that. That is huge. Those are, that's a lot. It's not like they did one or two things. And the things that they did are big, too. So upside-down kick hitting people who are crouching is huge because that was, I feel like, the move's intention. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, uh, is to basically help him make counter hit setups and whatever get over things but it didn't really work that well on some characters because it, it whiffed like Mist Blanca for example it whiffed yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah. now if that doesn't happen then he's more effective on offense which is good for him uh, he now has the ability to combo jab crouching jab into, into ultra one okay it's plus five <laughs> I mean I asked him to test it he says he couldn't do it but that doesn't make any sense. Like, mathematically, it has to be possible, right? right? So, yeah. And it auto-corrects, and he has more flash kick invincibility. Dude, so like, if you think about it right now, that ultra is as fast as most uppercuts with more invincibility. Yeah. So it has become basically a true, really good anti-air. Yeah, and, and I, I also heard that it doesn't drop the opponent, although that's well, not in this. He said, Kim says when you auto-correct it, when it gets auto-corrected... The first one will hit, but for some reason the second one will miss unless you're in the corner. Then it connects fully. Mm, gotcha. Basically, what Kim said was, "Goodbye, Bison versus Guile." Like oh. that match is now impossible. He says he was basically saying you have to fix this autocorrect thing because he's like, "There's no way Bison can beat Guile anymore at, at all." It's just like he says this fight is impossible now. So. I kind of agree with that. I can see it. Yeah, I can, yeah. I kind of agree with that. So. Five frame ultra, man. That thing is yeah. amazing. I mean, I don't think it needs the auto crack. What it should yeah. do, to be honest with you, is the first kick should just hit really far behind his head. Well, there's that one hit that does hit behind him, but it's just not that far. Right, but it needs to just make it farther. That's because fine. then if you auto if it, if you do it, you'll hit the guy behind you. You don't get anything out of it. Right. But yeah, I mean, someone said that if you auto correct it. Like, if someone tries to cross you up in the corner and it auto-corrects, you get the full ultra. And like I said, it's if you fake someone to jump at you one time, five frame anti-air. Like, I was right. testing it one time how early you need to do it. Like, a reuse ultra 2 is six frames. Mm -hmm. And you still had to do it a little kind of early, right? But five frames? That's... And invincible for 15 frames. And, right, exactly, dude. I, so I also asked them Too to much. test... I asked them to test um, if someone jumps early, if you could do light flash kick into ultra yeah and uh he said it was really hard to do but i don't know i mean how often can you really try on a test situation that probably like that? works i mean if like flash kick to flash kick works and that's only a one frame difference in startup from right. four to four out to five yeah but um yeah. It should it should work guile's gonna be incredible guile in sounds game. stupid man that sounds so good yeah he's gonna be really he good already has good mid, mid range control and now he has better offense now he has better defense yeah, if the changes don't change, okay. Dominion for Evo 2014. Right? <laughs> for sure. Yeah. Uh, let's go to Guy. Movement speed slightly increased. Stand short hitbox slightly expanded upward. Far standing roundhouse active frames increased from 3 to 5. And the hitbox goes more forward and upward. Crouching strong hitbox adjusted. No longer can be used as anti-air. It's a bizarre choice. Yeah, I know. Uh, down toward roundhouse, startup reduced from 11 to 9 frames, elbow drop, <laughs> hitbox is... expanded downward. Wait, that gets even better. Which one? The elbow drop. Jump, oh, jump okay, down okay. too. Oh, down no, I was MP. laughing about Ninja Sickle because they reduced the startup from 11 frames to 9 frames, which means Mark Teddy will stop missing that combo when he's trying to style That's right, on yeah. people. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, so the elbow drop is going to be even better. That already has a good hitbox. Yeah, so. I know. Target combo, second hit, expanded get, downward. You know what? They probably mm. just didn't want people to low forward, under pro, low, low profile it now. Yeah. So maybe you can't do that anymore. Could yeah. be it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Uh, H. Hosanto, startup reduced from 30 to 28 frames. I didn't know it was that long of a startup, jeez. Sudden stop recovery reduced from 17 frames to 16 frames. So the run stop business mm -hmm. is going to be a little bit better, I guess. Neck flip, first hit, slightly expanded downward. Uh, EX hurricane kick. Yes. Hitbox, slightly expanded. Easier to suck in opponents. Startup but increased from four frame move to six frame move. Much easier to safe jump now. Right. Much easier. Ultra one, second hit movement distance increased a little bit, so it's easier to use in combos. Yeah. Not that it would... Not that being easier to safe jump would affect anything that I was doing. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> right. Uh, so, so okay. Uh, the elbow drop, I think, is a big deal. Huge. Yeah, if it hits Ryu's yeah. crouching medium kick. Right, Huge. right. Huge. Right. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Faster walk speed is nice. Did uh, guy, guy needed to walk faster? I guess. Uh, <laughs> run stop is a little bit better in terms of the, the pressure that it gives Man. you. Um, the EX Hurricane has vacuum on it. Uh, I mean the the nerf is the is down strong not anti airing and I don't really know why they felt they needed to do that I don't feel like that was the, like an abusable mm -hmm. not like some some you know Sakura crouching fierce or whatever yeah. but I, I guess maybe they just wanted him to not be to not have defensive options in the same way that he does now mm -hmm. now he has some defensive options he's more offensive of course but he has yeah, these yeah. couple of things and they kind of took him away in the six frame. Uh, hurricane yeah, yeah, yeah. and then the worst down strong so yeah. they're just no, different ex hurricane play mind you is a slower anti-air now than guile's ultra one nah. <laughs> but um i mean the funny thing is those low strong anti-airs were never that much of a problem because they were very empty jumpable yeah you know i mean if you had a move that hit very low right you could get this mind game going there right so it was one of the only tools he had to fight zangief Let's just put it that way. That's true, yeah. As an anti-air, that was solid. You could actually punch his jumping forward kick. Right. But then Zangief just empty jumped and killed you anyway. But now, now he has nothing. <laughs> so that match um, might be a little bit tougher. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, Hakan. Let's talk about Hakan and why they would do this. I don't know. <laughs> Standing fierce hitbox expanded upward for better anti-air. It's already pretty decent, but okay. Crouching short recovery reduced from nine frames to eight frames. Um, actually, let me see something real fast, because okay. uh, I actually didn't notice that before. Got to check out some numbers right now. Crouching short is plus four on. Oh my god, they did that. He's plus five now. No, it's plus. It's now plus. It, in ultra, it's plus four. It's currently plus three. Oh, okay, okay. He can't link out of it right now, uh -huh. but he will be able to in, after this. Really? So does that mean an oil? He'll be able to go short, short, short link into something Ooh, what does he have maybe. that's four frame startup like all of his jabs and mm. from his jabs he links into into um stand strong or toward short into slide so he can do low short low jab he can do low he can actually link low short into itself or into whatever why would they do this so you could actually do in, without oil you could do low short low short slide basically low short low short stand jab toward short slide okay 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 right low short stand jab toward short slide. but the thing is that right now he doesn't have a, a low hit confirm right it, his lows mm -hmm. are either you just do them or you get crouching shorts mashed in oil and then nothing else mm -hmm. <laughs> what okay i guess <laughs> they want him to have the low confirms all right uh -huh. um <laughs> jump roundhouse hitbox expanded easier to easier cross. to cross up i heard it was jump medium kick but this says jump roundhouse. I hope so, because if it's jump roundhouse, that's really good having that as a cross-up. Yeah, it is. Crouching strong without oil only, now special cancelable. <laughs> what? Yeah, exactly. Doesn't make any sense. See, this is your version of the crouch short, crouch short problem. It's just like, this doesn't make any sense. Like, the reason I don't want Hilton to be too, uh, uh, too good is that he is a stupid character if he's too good. Uh -huh. He's built on negating options and having options that nobody else in the game has. Uh -huh. And when he's oiled up, he's like top three in the game. Um, right? Air throw if, damage. If he was oiled forever, he would be like top five. Free. I think he'd be the best if he yeah. were oiled always. That right, character is right. ridiculous. Uh, towards strong is minus four on block and uh, zero on hit. It's currently minus five on block, minus two on hit. Question for you on that one. Do yeah. you think that's going to change the, 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 char oh, the, 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 the shoulder charge into the grab? Is that going to change how that um, works? Maybe, actually. It might. I, that's, okay. that's a good question. Something I have okay. to look into. Okay. Air throw damage increased from 140 to 150. 
uh, all of the SPDs in no oil throw range increased from 0.97, which is basically his normal throw range, to 1.05, mm -hmm. which is still not that great, but it's something. Yeah, and then yeah. EX, spinning pile driver without any oil, increased from 0.97 to 1.2. That's a big deal. Which is like a Gee Fierce SPD. So yeah. that's that's nice. I mean, it's close. It's not as big as if you had oil, but it's a nice little buff yeah. for, for defense. Ultra 1 animation speed increased, well, reducing I mean, cinematically. The reason why I think the, that's such a big deal, that, that buff, is because that gets him oiled. Ultra you know 1? I mean? No, I mean the, the, EX, the, the EX oil rocket. Yeah. You know, once you grab at them, yeah. with unoiled, giving it more range will give them way more oil opportunity. Yeah, effectively he'll be able to oil up more yeah, easily. And yeah. the, and this this changes about oil too. Animation speed on Ultra 1 is increased, reducing cinematic length. Same for both Ultras actually. That means, so right now if you have a, like a medium kick uh, oil, mm -hmm. you, you do medium kick oil, then you do an Ultra, by the time you're back to, to hitting the opponent, you have no more oil. I never thought about that. Yeah, no, it, 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 it's true. And if you, do, if you do short oil beforehand, it runs out mid-Ultra, mid, mid uh, ultra, although the damage is still there. So this means that he effectively has longer oil time. Yeah. So better, better hit confirms, better normals, um, more cancelability, more range on pile driver, effectively more oil. That's stupid. I'm just gonna say it. Like I, you're 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 playing with fire with this character's design. This is what I'm gonna say right here, Zangief players. Hakali oh, if players. these changes, <laughs> if these changes last, yeah. Zangief players are gonna be like, hi, Hakan. Definitely. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I mean, cause the thing about it is, both of us still think Hakan is really good in 2012. Yeah, I do. Like everyone thinks he sucks. And I just, I don't think he sucks. I don't understand. <laughs> People, anybody who thinks he sucks, I think, just haven't paid attention that much. Yeah. Um, I don't know, it's weird to me. Uh, Hugo, let's see. Okay, obviously the SRK one doesn't have... Oh, we're skipping. We've skipped all the other ones already, so... All the other what? The new characters. Like, you skipped Elena earlier. Oh, you're right, I did, yeah. yeah okay, so let's, let's skip, the new skip characters them. We'll now. talk about yeah. them at the end, I guess. Um, do you want to take a break real oh, quick? Oh, yeah, or? sure, let's take a break. Yeah, like we said, we're running over time. Sorry to the show that sucks, but... Uh, we gotta do this. So. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We'll be back in a bit.